if there is one silly symphony that I am not going to watch again, it's the cats out. Me being a big cat fan, addict, crazy cat lady, whatever you want to call it, this broke my heart a little bit, and I will not be watching this ever again. Um, but having you know, said that, having watched it once, and pleased to have seen it, because I do love a Disney cat, and this was released in 1931, uh, directed by Wilfred Jackson, and this is all about a pet cat that is let out at night, and... To begin with, he asks to be put back inside, nobody responds, so he decides to go off and explore. He sees a bird, he doesn't win that one. He sees other animals, he doesn't win those ones. He gets into all kinds of situations that end up hurting him and causing him to meow and yowl and become agitated and scared and hurt and frightened and he is being bullied. There's a very peculiar sequence with some giant dancing spiders, which, from an animation perspective, was fun to watch, but just the thought of this little cat getting hurt and all of the noises that the cat made, meowing and, you know, yowling for help, and it genuinely broke my heart, and in the moment I just thought, what has Walt Disney got against cats? Thankfully, we have the Aristocats to prove he didn't hate cats, um, although, you know, they were shoved into a trunk at one point, so maybe that one's up for debate. Generally, dogs are more prevalent in Disney films than cats, but we do have some pretty strong Disney cats. Figaro is adorable and feisty. The Cheshire Cat, although not a creation of Disney, is um, certainly a very interesting character. Lucifer is villainous. The Cat's Out is not one I will ever watch again because it just it, it broke my heart. Um, apparently it was originally also released under the title The Cat's Nightmare, which definitely sums this up very, very well. It's what annoys me. No, it's not. It's not a problem with the Silly Symphony because it is a Silly Symphony, but it's not actually like the average silly symphony. It's got much more of a detailed narrative and it's only got one protagonist. Usually silly symphonies have a whole cast of characters with a fantastic musical backdrop. This definitely has that. But it has a whole cast of characters who are our protagonists and the narrative's not usually quite as linear, if you like. It's usually a bit more chaotic. But this one's very straightforward and we just have the one main character who's going on this very nightmarish journey. And all I can say is the only positive thing to come out of this is if you have a cat, don't put it out at night. Let it come indoors. It's genuinely heartbreaking. Um, watch it if you're a Disney fan because it'll be worth, you know, um, saying that you've been able to see it. But just be warned that it may be a little upsetting even for an animation.